Couldn't be more pleased with this first weekend. And, you know, the first thing I would say is just a, a hat tip to McNeese. Uh, I think Justin does a great job with that team. They're older. Uh, they have really competitive at bats. They don't chase a lot. They make you earn everything that you get. They don't walk you. They don't hit you. They, they defend the field. And um, we had to earn everything that we got. And they played way too well uh, for three games to, to be 0-3. Uh, but with that being said, I think it says something about our club. And um, this really plays plenty of things we, we got to work on. I, I'm really surprised that we gave up as many hits as we did and as many free passes as we did. And, you know, I think one thing that as a coach, you have to remember you get to game three, game four, game five, and you're pitching guys that maybe it's their first college outing or the first outing of the year where those position players, they get to game two or game three and, and uh, they get those nerves and that adrenaline out. Um, so I thought the at-bats got better over the course of the weekend. And obviously the, uh, you know, the extra base hits, the home runs was kind of the, the story of the weekend in my mind. We, you know, they got some big doubles and, and when we got into balls, they went over the fence and it was kind of the difference that, uh, yesterday and today. Um, some pretty loud ovations from the crowd for Smith, uh, of course, and uh, um, uh, a hit and, and, uh, and, and the closer. What are your thoughts about, you know, the, the pitching today? I thought those guys did a really good job um, for the first time out. Uh, was very encouraged with Dylan. He probably didn't quite have the bite on his breaking ball um, that he normally does and um, didn't land his, his change up for strike as often as he has and, and he will. But for his first outing, I thought he did a great job. He gave us four and two thirds and uh, one run. Uh, Grayson came in and uh, attacked the strike zone and, you know, gave up a couple hits and really got into a nice groove there for five or six batters and kind of lost it there at the end. But um, and then Brock came in and, and closed the door, which is kind of what he does. But I'm excited. All three of those guys are going to be a huge piece of, of uh, you know, our weekend pitching for the rest of the season. I know you're happy to be three and oh, but to do it against a quality club and have some closer games that you had to fight for all nine innings, I imagine that's kind of what you were hoping to accomplish with with a more difficult non-conference schedule to win the games, but also against a good ball club and in some tight ones. Yeah, Brett, I think I had said that a couple of weeks ago in one of the one of the times we had talked. I said, hey, I, I want to play a tougher schedule. We need to be in tight games. We need to play from behind. And uh, about the middle of the game on Friday, I was like, what in the heck was I thinking? <laughs> you know? um, but, you know, in all seriousness, you get to the end of the weekend and, hey, we, we got down twice. We, we had to, to win a game late. Um, we had um, you know, right there in the eighth inning, it's it's tight. They got the bases loaded and Guffey had to come in and, and get us out of a jam. And those are all experiences that you 100% are going to have in league play. So you better have them uh, before league play starts. And for the kids to have that catalog of success in the back of their mind, knowing that, hey, I've been in this position before and I can do it. Uh, six home runs to the first three games. Did you anticipate this kind of, you know, long ball hitting? No, I, I didn't. So I'm not great at math. So 56 games, 112. I, I don't foresee us hitting 112 homers this year. I wouldn't be mad about it. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I like our offensive group. Um, you know, it's a pretty good mix of left and right. And we got some athleticism, some guys that can impact the ball. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't have foreseen six home runs, but um, I'm not surprised that uh, that we've created some hard contact. So, um, you know, we got to continue to figure out what's – there's probably a bigger gap with this group than any group I've ever had where our best offensive lineup is dramatically different from our best defensive lineup. So, um, you know, we'll continue to work some different combinations and kind of see where it goes. But, uh, you know, I, I like the home runs. Those are nice. To, to what extent are the midweek pitching plans solidified? Well, we're going to start Freeman and Shamlin. I don't know. I'll have to get with JJ, see which day he wants to pitch which guy. But those are going to be the two guys that are going to throw early. And, you know, we still got some some other guys that haven't pitched yet that we're really anxious to see, you know, see in a game. So um, I think pretty much everybody's going to be on board uh, Tuesday, um, you know, that through under 60 pitches, everybody will be available. But we've also got some some new guys that we're hopeful can get out there. And the final question for me, you know, another solid, another solid game from Zane Denton, you know, talk about his performance this, you know, past weekend, start of the season. You know, it's been really neat for Zane. He, he's a guy that, you know, we really liked in the recruiting process and um, came in and did some good things his freshman fall and got last spring and he, you know, really didn't perform in, over a four week period and went to summer baseball and just had an abysmal summer, abysmal. 
I think he hit under like 130 or something, which is really hard to do, like really hard. Um, and it just shows you how mental baseball is because we've never doubted his physical talent. But um, he came back and got in a good place and uh, had a great fall and a great preseason. And uh, anybody that's been around here the last six months is not surprised at all that, he, that he's doing well. And, um, and he's a good player. Guys. Hey, Dio. Hey, man. Uh, what'd you hit out on the on the homer today? Uh, it was a it was kind of a fastball away. Um, I've I've kind of you know this season um, try to get in a really good routine of ne never really guessing and um, just trying to be relaxed up there and and you know see the pitch as it comes in, just see it really big and um, that's kind of what what happened in that at bat. I mean, I didn't really know. Um, you know, he started the at bat with two with two balls on fastballs, and um, I saw he was having some command issues. And then he uh, he came back with a curveball 2-0, and he dropped that in for a strike. Um, and then from there, he uh, he threw another another fastball for a ball. So I mean, you know, last year, um, you know, I might have been leaning towards a curveball in that count, but I, I'm just trying to do a really good job of. Um, not guessing and uh, it kind of paid off in that situation and um, I just reacted to a fastball away and um, was lucky enough to put a good swing on it. Uh, yeah, is there a reason I'm sorry is there, is there a reason you're you're thinking that way and not trying to to guess as much like is that based on something you learned last year or, or something else? Um, I think it's just a maturity thing more than anything I mean um, I know you guys know hitting's really hard and um, you know, you try your best not not to think too much when you're up there. And, um, you know, I'm typically someone who who over overthinks um, sometimes. And uh, I'm just trying to do a really good job of, of, you know, not overthinking and having a clear head when I'm up there. And, you know, just kind of, you know, one of the best Canadian hitters of all time. Um, you know, I've, I've been told through um, my national team uh, director in high school, Greg Hamilton, told me that Larry Walker always said, just see it and hit it. And. Um, you know, I'm really trying to keep things that simple when I'm up there right now. And, um, you know, hopefully it, it continues to pay off. Of course, you had the game tying home run yesterday and then, of course, the grand slam today. What have you brought with you from last season to kind of keep to help you with the long ball? And what have you added to your game, you know, in that in those 11 months off? Yeah, I mean, um, I get a I get a really good, um, you know, practice in between fall scrimmages and um, preseason, I've, I've seen a lot of good stuff between, you know, fastballs and curveballs and changeups. And, um, you know, it, it's almost cat, tip your cap to our pitchers just because of how good their stuff is. It makes, you know, coming out here and competing early in, in the season um, a little bit easier. But, um, you know, they know they know how to pitch us and, you know, we know how to hit them. So we have really good battles. But, um, you know, this season, I, I'm just trying to take a, a more mature approach, um, like I said, at the plate and, um, you know, not 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 ever cheat to a pitch and um, just just trust myself to, you know, react and and put a good swing on it. But I'm definitely trying to use the whole field a lot more than than I have in the past. And um, I think that starts in, in batting practice and, you know, not trying to get too big and hit 20 home runs to my pull side and in, in batting practice and, you know, trying to work the whole whole field instead. So I, I'd say that's the biggest thing that I've kind of started working on. What what's the improvement that you've noticed in in Zane Denton? I mean, we've heard a lot about the off season that that he had. How have you seen him be better as a hitter? Yeah, I mean, I I've known since since I got here how good of a player he was, and um, I think it was only a matter of time before he started doing this. And um, I don't I don't think he's surprising any of of his teammates by you know how how he came out to start this season. But he he works he works extremely hard and. Um, he's just a great teammate, whether things are going good for him and things aren't, he's, he's, you know, on, on the top step of the dugout and um, it, it's just, it's awesome to see him do what he's done and kind of have that, that crazy opening weekend. It's, it's just, it's really nice to see. And obviously it was really important in, in, in us getting three wins this weekend. And um, I couldn't be more happy for him. How did you feel in, in right this weekend and how did you go about kind of making yourself a better uh, defender over in between seasons? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, coming out of high school, I'd never really played anywhere um, other than behind the plate. So it was definitely a, a change, you know, um, being in the out, being in the outfield, um, being on the other side of the ball. But 
uh, it's definitely something that I've started to take a lot of pride in and um, trying to get better. And I'm not going to say it's, it's been easy and um, I'm not going to say I'm perfect out there yet, but um, you know, I'm just trying to make all the plays and, you know, stay focused out there and, and do what I can, you know, to be a, a solid outfielder. And I think we made some big strides. I, you know, whenever there was extra batting practice groups this, this off season, I was, I was out getting as many reps as I can. And, um, you know, I, I still have, I still have work to do, but, uh, I'm going to continue to, you know, work as hard as I can to, um, kind of clean up, clean up the smaller things and, and, and make myself better out there. What have you found to be most difficult of, of playing out there and making that transition from catcher to outfield? Um, you know, when I when I first moved out there, I thought it was it was going to be you know kind of easy in terms of you know just catch the ball, but um, it, it's so much more than that in terms of you know your footwork and um, the routes you take to the ball. It's just um, it, it's a lot harder than it looks between you know just the way the ball comes off the bat if it's if it's slicing if it's top spinning, there's just a, a lot of natural instincts that, you know, you need to develop um, from seeing thousands of reps out there that uh, is it, hard for me to do when, when I, when I wasn't out there as a, as a young kid. But um, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to catch up on those reps uh, in practice and uh, do as much as I can. But, um, you know, I, I, I have a lot of work left to do, but uh, I'm really happy with the improvements I've made so far.